Hey, here with Jordan Harvey of the Independence Patriots. Four sacks tonight, um, Jordan, and you guys needed them all. But I'm telling you, the, the, they had some opportunities in the first half. You guys kind of flipped the, the script there in the second half. What happened? I mean, in the second quarter. What happened in the second quarter? And you guys really, you really asserted yourself defensively. I think you had two or three of your sacks in that second quarter. Well, I mean, we all realize at this point, everyone's good. I mean, top eight. I mean, top sixteen. You can argue about team sneaking in, but top eight, everyone's good. So at this point, it's going to come down to who plays better on defense and who makes the least amount of mistakes on offense. I mean, we we were twelve nothing. I mean, which I mean, it's nice having a lead, but we knew that wasn't enough to shut them out. But our defense really stepped up. I think we had four stops in the red zone tonight, and um, five or six sacks team wide. So and we were getting a lot of pressure tonight, and that's thanks to Coach Lee and Coach Scotty Cupford. So tonight, game plan was really good. Everyone perfected it. And it was just a really good night for everyone. Uh, are you surprised by the final score? A little bit, because like they haven't lost to a double A team in three years. And, I think for us, we thought this was long overdue after losing to them two straight years. But make no beef about it. I think they're only losing two or three players. And Dylan Hours is probably a D1 athlete at this point. He's a, he's an amazing athlete. So I think they're going to come back just as strong next year. But, I mean, our, our team, we really stepped up when we needed to. And I think now it's – Time, it's finally time to prove our doubters wrong and try to win this thing. You know, Judah Price, a lot of people said, well, he put up those numbers against uh, not really good competition. Did he Did he answer a lot of critics? And you guys answer a lot of critics tonight? Well, I mean... That's not a bad team, yeah. I mean, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he broke the state uh, scoring record for, I think it's 14 games. So I think that really just says enough about how well he's played and how well he's played against really good teams. I mean... You know, we snuck that one out with Bluefield, but we made a lot of mistakes on offense that game. But I think after, after, like this week, especially when we're in the red zone, we realize when we get these opportunities inside the 10, inside the 20, we got to get them. So I think we silenced a lot of doubters tonight. Yeah, you know, Jude, I think, said you guys silenced a, a nightmare. You took care of a nightmare in your fantasy uh, here to win the state championship. You feel that way? I mean, I know you guys hated walking off the field. I know you felt you let the community down. Did you exercise some demons tonight? Oh, yeah. I mean, walking off that, that was one of the, I think we can all agree that was one of the worst feelings we've ever had, like, as, as a team. And even in this, the athletics department in school history, it's never fun making it all the way there just to fall up short because you made a couple mistakes. But at, we got two more games. Well, we got one more game to even make it there. And then we got one more game to try to win it. So we're going to enjoy this one, 24-hour rule. And it's on to the next. You got to take it one week at a time. All right, Jordan, great job tonight. Four sacks, huh? Yes, sir. You had a career high? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> great job, man. Thank <laughs> Thank you. you.